Good morning. This is a pop-up. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I haven't been here for over three weeks because my mom um, fell and I have been taking care of her, uh, watching her very closely. But I think um, I might have a few minutes to jump on this morning and I plan on being back live tomorrow night at seven. That is my regular schedule. Hi, Tina. Um, my regular schedule here at Stampin' All Day with Bev is 7 p.m. Pacific time in California on Sundays and then Tuesdays at two. So I'm hoping I'm back, um, but if I'm not, please forgive me. Um, this just depends on how things are going minute by minute, okay? So I got my order from the new mini catalog. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Jean. And um, real excited. I um, was able to put label things and get things semi-organized. Hi, Debbie. And um, so I got to make a card last night. First time in three weeks. Now, I don't know in my 27 years of being a demonstrator if I've never stamped for three weeks at one time. I don't think I have. So I'm probably pretty rusty. And um, so um, I'm gonna ask for patience with you, from me, for, for me, because I'm probably gonna stumble quite a bit. But I, I got on Facebook pretty easy, so I didn't forget how to do that. So anyway, um, I'm gonna turn you down and show you this cute, 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 cute card that I made from a celebration set. I fell in love with it right away. It's called the Door owls because they just are they are just adorable so let me turn you down and we'll get started all right hi Cheryl welcome so here are the catalogs I'm not allowed to show you the contents um, but I can show you the covers and when you see a cover you need to just take in what's on the cover and you kind of can see some of the things that are on the inside. Celebration is January 5th through the last day of February. And this catalog is full of items that you can earn for free with a purchase. Thanks, Debbie. So minimum order is 50 and then anything up to, um, above that in $50 increments, you can earn something from this catalog. And these adorable owls are in this catalog. So yes, a $50 order will earn you these, cat, these um, owls. Then here's the new mini. Some of you have them already. I might get out today and deliver some more um, and put some more. I've got some more going out in the mail. So it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Really, really pretty. I love so many things in this catalog. I think you're going to be very, very happy with it. And here are the owls. Now, before some of you got on, I said I will be back on tomorrow night at 7. Um, I'm hoping that my daughter can come and stay with my mom so I can get on tomorrow night. And if she does, um, she never tells me no. So hopefully that all works out for her. And um, I will show you some more things and I will tell you who won the November prize. Okay, so I'll do this is just a pop up, so I'm not going to do that today. So here they are. Look at these little guys. It's it's uh, geared to birthday. It's your day. Hoot hoot, you're so cute. Isn't that adorable? And then my friend. So um, little bow tie and then one flying. And so they're just so cute. So let me show you what I made. I used um, this beautiful, I couldn't wait to open it up, this beautiful gingham paper. It's in the catalog, um, Country Gingham 6x6. Here is the item number if you want to start a little uh, wish list. And I just took the piece right off the top, and there's quite a bit. So I'm going to use this for open house. Yes, I am going to have open house January, but it's going to be uh, a shorter span of time. I'm going to open at one 
and I could stay open till five, so four hours. And thank you, thank you, Jean. I miss, you do not, you guys do not know how much I miss you guys. Oh my gosh, I've told you forever that Stampin' Up has been my therapy, my um, getaway for 27 years, and um, you guys are witnessing this time another, another rough road in my life, and um, it, you know, it just helps me to have Stampin' Up and this craft and all my friends. All right, so I picked a color from this this gingham paper here. I said, okay, so I, I used the pink, and it says sweet sorbet and petal pink. So I used this sweet sorbet for my card base here, and it's just a regular card. I didn't do anything fancy. Um, I just wanted to see basically how easy or how difficult this little set would be to put something cute together kind of quickly. And so, um, <clears throat> so I did that, and then I'm going to cut uh, this this DSP into. Um, where's my trimmer? Told you, told you I was going to be a little bit unorganized. Where is my trimmer? There it is, right in front of my face. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this this is uh, the width is five and a half. So I'm going to cut this down to five and a half for the. I should have said length little piece off there and then uh, three quarters of an inch wide and then this one I'm going to cut down to four and five and a quarter long that's going to be for the inside and then I'll just leave it this width here just to be easy and that's just one inch okay so I've got those, those two ready Alrighty, let me show you the card. Look at this, look how stinking cute this is. Oh my gosh, now yesterday I was just playing, so I'm gonna do something a little different with, hi Joan, with the owl today. I'm gonna emboss him because I don't like how, if you, I was just, like I said, I was just playing, but I do like the layout and I do like the design. So I'm going to emboss the owl, and this card's even going to look better. Thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts. Yay! But look at the inside. Oh, look at this flower. Oh, my gosh. It's this new punch in the mini. I would put this on my wish list for sure. It's on page 32. It's called Petal Park Builder, and there is the code. So absolutely love this flower and use the same DSP to, um, to make the inside. And this, this greenish color, this mint color, is just the back side of this gingham. So super quick and easy and notice the corners. I'm going to show you that too. All right. So I'm going to take this time, because I said it's a little different, I'm going to take Shimmer White. Um, I'm taking shimmer white this time because I um, use colored pencils to color my owl, but I also used an aqua painter to smooth everything out. So on, on regular cardstock, um, it works, but I think I prefer uh, using either watercolor paper or shimmer white paper or thick paper, whichever one you want. So I'm gonna lay my paper on my Simply Score tool, and I'm gonna score a line at one inch. And then I'm just gonna take the, um, what is it, every, every, every single groove, I'm just gonna make three lines, so it's every eighth. And I'm just gonna make sure they're really, really in there good. So I have these little lines. Look how pretty that is. You guys know this is my favorite technique. I use it all the time. You're like, yes, Bev, we know, we know. Okay, I'm probably gonna need this tool again. So I'll just leave it out. And now my owl has a place to land. Okay, so let me take my Early Espresso ink and my little guy. Get him. Oh, so cute. And tap, tap, tap onto my stamp pad. 
and I was really surprised. Um, well, some people are new, so they didn't know that you can emboss with all your Stampin' Up! inks. Yes, you can. So I was glad that I could teach people that a while back because I thought you had to only use Versamark. Versamark is a sticky wet ink that stays wet longer than regular ink. But if you just do what I did, you stamp and you emboss right away. So you have, you get the powder on there right away. So you have everything ready. Here's my tray, here's my embossing powder. And it was ready for me so that that espresso ink doesn't dry. Then you can emboss with any color. Yeah, just use clear. Um, I would make sure I have clear embossing powder for sure because then the color you use to stamp with is the color that's going to be prominent. So I heated up my heat tool just a hair just before I got on. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to emboss. And here we go, it's starting to emboss now. So it looks like Beverly put white embossing powder cap, I mean clear embossing powder cap on white embossing powder. Ah, I was wondering why it looks so white. So anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Let's, this'll be a learned lesson. So I've got to change the cap. It says clear, but it's really white. So I goof those up. All right. Error number one. Isn't he cute? Good morning, everybody. Hey, Marsha. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I, here's my color pencils. And I love coloring. I got to pull down so I can see their eyes blue. I do not have a blue-eyed person in my family at all. Um, oh, that's not true. Jenny's eyes are blue. So I just look, I just like the look of the blue. I'm gonna just do the inside like that. This one, I did the whole eye, but I'm gonna see what it looks like and I'll add if I need to. Then I went to um, its basic gray and I colored in the top part of the owl. And you do not have to worry about streaks and how you're coloring. Just get color in the area. See there? It's not it's not cute at all because our um, water painter is going to smooth everything out for us. Then I think on this one I'm going to do is feet gray. I didn't do that on the other one. I did them brown. Okay. And then I like pink for inside the ears. And I did the bow tie pink. Scribble, scribble, scribble. A little bit of orange. You know, if you're new, these watercolor pencils are the way to go for um, a ton of color um, at once. So um, you don't have to say, oh my gosh, I don't have that blend. I don't have that, that stamp pad. With these watercolors pencils, you get a ton of colors right away. And um, if you're like me, you know, you like instant gratification. So I think they're fun and they work so well. Okay, and then I think I'll do his tummy gray too. Okay, this guy looks like he just got thrown out of the dryer <laughs> He's a mess. So now I want you to have a Kleenex or something, a tissue, something dry, and your water painter with a wet brush. Um, but I wouldn't squeeze the brush. I'm squeezing it right now because I need to get some water on the brush. It's dry. Um, there it comes. But, but while I'm painting, I will not squeeze this at all. And I'm taking a lot of the water off the tip so I don't flood anything. But if you did flood, you have this Kleenex in your hand and you can just tap and dry if there's too much water flowing out. Okay, so I'd like to keep one in my hand. See how much smoother that is? Then when I um, change color, so I did all the gray, I'm doing his tummy now. Now I'm gonna go to the pink. So I just cleaned off the brush so the pink is not 
interfered with. So what are you guys doing today? You doing anything special? My sweet daughter is on the way over in a little bit and we're gonna make Christmas cookies. I was telling the angel that was here last night watching my mom throughout the night that um, either she's gonna have some cute cookies to eat tonight when she comes back or she's gonna laugh herself through the roof because they're so ugly. <laughs> so we'll see. Just got watercolor pencils, want to play around. Oh, you'll love them, Kathleen. You will love them. The, they Look at how they just melt with the water. Just melt. So I think this is the most controllable way to watercolor. Controllable. Is that a word? Controlled. And you can highlight too, you know, if you um, have the time to let it dry. It's a light wash, and so it's not going to take a lot of time to dry. But um, you can come back and highlight and get this exactly how you want it if you're an artist and you play around. For this um, live, I'm not going to go into that much detail because these owls are so stinking cute anyway that it's just cool. Now, I would like it better um, with the clear embossing powder and the owl image standing out better. Maybe I'll have time to make one um, today and show you on tomorrow night. Okay. So now in the, in the stamp set. Oh, good. I'm glad you're going to craft tomorrow. There is hoot hoot. You're so cute. Well, I just wanted hoot hoot because I don't know who I'm sending this to and if they're cute or not. No, just kidding. Everybody I know is cute. So, um, I'm going to take my black marker and I'm just going to omit, this is the omit technique, the you're so cute, leaving that off. So if you have a stamp, hi Diane, that says anything other, you know, it, it has a line in it that you like, but you don't want the other part of it, you can just do the omitting technique and have part the part of the stamp that you want to use. Oh boy, I've missed you guys. So cute. All right, so the three quarter inch. Oh, I cut this down too. Okay, so I need to cut this down. I thought I, I hadn't, so five and a quarter. So both of them are five and a quarter, not just one of them. Okay. Look how cute that is. This gingham paper is adorable. Oh, thank you, Marcia. I think it's so cheery and cute. Cheery and cute, hoot, hoot. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now I'm gonna take another one of these. Thank you for sharing uh, sheets. I love how there's so many of each each one. And I'm gonna cut it down to an inch again. So one inch, this end here is at one inch. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. I hope I'm back. It's 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 really hour by hour, minute by minute, however, never know. So I've got this one inch square now, and I'm gonna place the tips, the corners on the cut line there. Now this can be a little tricky to make it stay. If it moves on you, of course, it's gonna be crooked. So if you don't wanna even mess with it, put a mini glue dot on there, set it in the grooves, and it ain't going anywhere. Start in the middle, and then cut. This one, of course, is gonna be loose because there's not a mini glue dot on this one. 
And this one, you can just now take it and help it adhere to the card. So I still need some more glue because it's only at the tip there. Oh, I'm so glad you kept checking. I kept telling myself, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose all my followers. You know, but I just put everything in God's hands and case Sarah, Sarah, right? But I just cherish you guys. I really do. So I love this corner little idea with um, a one inch square. Just to add a little bit more. Okay, cuteness. Then when you put it onto the card, it even gets cuter. My owl looks a little, I don't know, he's too light. But you guys are going to use clear embossing powder, not white, and then you won't have, you'll have a darker owl. Okay, so next, when I saw these in the catalog, me and my friend Lori screamed out loud, hi Yvette, welcome. They're called Loose Daisy Embellishments. Mini catalog, page 51. Code 160555. That's a must for your wish list. If you don't get these, you're going to be so sad. Look at these white and yellow little daisies. Now, I don't remember if they have stick them on them. They don't. Okay, so what did I do? Um, I think I put, I probably, I don't remember what I did. Probably be put three little dots here. For some reason, I was thinking they had stick them on them right now, but they don't. Oh, and something I didn't notice the other day, they're double-sided. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter um, which, you know how things flip and you gotta turn it over? Well, these are double-sided. So cool. Look how cute those are. They're just going to add so much all of the time. All right, so there's the outside. So now we're going to take the inside. See the back of the paper, that mint color? So cool, so cute. And we're just going to put this at the bottom of the white paper. Thanks, Yvette. Simple card, simple, simple. Diane, you love simple. I know that for a fact. Set this down. And again, you know, all the different colors. I know, Jean, the paper is adorable. Adorable, adorable. So look at all these patterns and colors. And double-sided, of course. So, oh. All right, so then I took the little tiny, tiny, hi, Allison. <laughs> She's telling me, mother, it's too early. Allie, you know best. I gotta take, I gotta take the time when the time's right. Mom just, I just took care of her a few minutes ago. So the time is right for me right now. So it's not too early. My daughter tells me this one, Allison. She tells me, mom, I don't know where you get your go juice. She calls my energy go juice. I'll never forget, she was moving. And um, I went up there to help her, and I said, um, how can I be the most helpful? They did all the heavy lifting and stuff. They said, you know, stay at the new house. And um, when we bring stuff in, you can start putting it away. So I did that. And then at the end of moving their stuff over, they had to go to the old house and clean it, right? So they, um, so they went back and they cleaned. It took them a few hours. And um, <clears throat> when they got back, their house was set up. She's like, and then the next morning I got up to go to the little church that was down the corner from her house, but I washed my car first. And that's when she came up with that saying, mom, where do you get your go juice? <laughs> I've never forgotten that. I love it, go juice. All right, so I just used this punch. Okay, didn't even talk about the punch. Pedal, park, builder. Love it, page 32. Um, I knew I had to have this because I love flowers on everything, flowers and bows. 
And then I was looking at it. I, I didn't look at it really close. I just was so excited about the three flowers. So I said, oh, I got to make a leaf. How can I make it? Oh, I know how I'm going to make a leaf. And then I looked on the punch bed and I went, girl, it has a leaf on it. You should have known that. Stampin' Up! is so good. They know what they're doing. So we just punch out two leaves and throw them on that little stem. And I always debate, does the point go at the end or does it go up to the stem? Well, I'm going to put it up to the stem, but you guys tell me because I don't know. I always debate with myself, which way does it go? It actually looks good both ways. Love that go juice. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes I drive my family crazy, though, because I have a lot of go juice. So here's the flowers. There's a large and a small, a medium. These are the two large, and these are the two small. So I need a medium. Okay, so I'm going to use one of those and one of those, and then I'm going to get another medium. Here's my scrap. So this is just a, yep, a one inch strip and I'm getting all these. Does it get the big one with a one inch strip? Let's check it out. I don't think so. No. So maybe do one and a half if you want to get them all. Okay. So then I take my um, mat. And with a light hand, girls, light hand, remember this. Um, take your, your uh, scoring tool, I mean your stylus tool, and there's a fine end and a wide end with the, a light hand circular motion. This is designer series paper. So if you go too hard, it will um, tear in the middle. But all I'm wanting to do is lift the petals a little bit. So this, this makes them lift nicely without folding. Same thing here, the harder you, or not the harder you press, because I don't want you to go through the paper, but the longer you circle, the more it will flip. So that's a big one again. That's a big one again. Okay, I thought I just punched out the middle size. Well, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna just alternate them because Told you, I'm losing my mind. Aw. Thanks, Deborah. Okay, so I want some um, dimension on this. Doesn't matter what size dimensionals you use, I just grabbed a mini. And I'm gonna put the little one on top. Alternate the petals for fluff. Did that come off? No, it didn't. It was so refreshing for me to come out here and make this little card. I think it was yesterday. I told, oh yeah, it was. Ken was gone to his Friday lunch that he goes to every Friday. I'm telling you ladies, this man is an angel. That was the medium one girl. Um, he does everything for me. So I insist that he goes to his Friday lunches he does not disrupt that it's his little getaway and um while he was gone i watched a program i wanted my stampin up order came so i was watching a good girl flip and um putting my labeling my case my stamps and my dies and my embellishments and then when he got home I said, I'm gonna go out and stamp, and he looked at me with a half a smile. And I was able to get this card done. Isn't that so cute? You keep freezing. Oh. So, you don't need a dimensional in between every single one of these. I think two would be enough, so maybe the well, you just decide, but it's so cute with that dimension. Okay, so let's go back to the card. Check it out. Hi, Velma. My sweet friend, Velma. So, 
Now let's get this guy down. I know that punch is adorable. I knew it would be. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to use your imagination, the owl darker, because I had the wrong lid on my powder. I had the white instead of the clear. So if he was dark espresso, he would pop more like this. And then you could write whatever you want on the inside. So I think it would be cute as like, hoot hoot, you're so cute with the uh, omitting technique that I just taught you, or the birthday guy, and it's your day inside, whatever you wanna do, or just use the owls and different sentiments from different stamp sets. Everything just really coordinates. Don't forget, one inch corners, uh, one inch squares, cut diagonally and fit in your corners and helps really decorate. These little flowers are to die for, so if you want this set, January 5th, $50 order, and the owls are yours for free. Little pearl on the inside. I love the mint backside to this, um, to this paper too, so cute. All right, ladies, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for having me, having your notifications on and knowing when I pop up. I really try, um, if I can, if the time's right, to get on. So there might be more pop-ups than, um, than my scheduled times. And thank you for understanding. Have a great day. Bye-bye.